Good evening from London. I'm in Buzzy Soho, one of the most popular areas in the city to go out. So tonight, I'm gonna take you along with me. We're gonna have a little nighttime adventure and I'll show you some good places to drink, where to eat, and where to go party. So let's go to the first place, this way. We're starting our nightlife tour of Soho at a classic English pub. This is the dog and duck behind me, and this pub has been sitting in this building since 1897. And it's had some pretty famous people drink in it from George Orwell to Madonna and Guy Ritchie. Now the interiors of this pub are beautiful. They're very old school traditional pub, so you can drink inside if you want. But as you can see behind me, whenever us Londoners have a nice day after work, we usually run to the pub and enjoy a pint or two outside in the sunshine. So you can join along with that if you want. If you're looking for a casual atmosphere to have a drink, pubs are always a good bet. And relatively speaking, they usually have pretty affordable prices, especially when it comes to beer. Cheers. We were just having a conversation about what I like about Soho. I love how everyone is so friendly. It's such an accepting community. For example, there's GAY, there's, I don't know, Heaven very near. Anytime I'm in London, I make sure it's the first place on my list to hit. There we go, see? There we go. On any night out, it's important to make sure that you have a good, healthy dinner before you have lots of drinks afterwards. And that's what we're gonna do. And here in Soho, there's lots of restaurants, of which many are really bad. But we're gonna go to one of the best. This is Paradise behind me. This is an upscale, sexy little Sri Lankan restaurant, and the food is really good. So let's go in. The restaurant is very full, as it is on most nights, but luckily I booked a table and got us right at the window, which is nice. They do beautiful modern Sri Lankan dishes here, and what's amazing is that a ton of the options are vegan friendly, which works well for me, and they're still so delicious, so we're gonna dig in. We've just finished dinner and we're gonna go have another cocktail somewhere, but this place is a bit hard to find, so follow me. This is the Friendly Society, a quirky and fun underground gay bar right in the heart of Soho. This area is known to be the biggest place in London for the LGBTQ plus community. And with so many great options of where to go out, the Friendly Society stands out as the most colorful, retro, and friendly one. Okay, so we're not gonna do this tonight, but if you want something to do in the evening around this area that doesn't include alcohol, then you could go see some kind of live show. We've got lots of options in Soho and the surrounding areas. For example, right behind me is Ronnie Scott's, the most famous place in London to see live jazz music. We also have lots of West End theater right around this area that you can see. And if you're into comedy, you could go to 99 Comedy Club or Top Secret Comedy Club to see live shows for really affordable prices. As it gets later in Soho, here's how it works. The pubs close around 11, the bars close between 12 and about 1.32 ish, and that's the point where if you wanna stay out longer, you're gonna move yourself to a club. And here in Soho, we have a lot of clubs, a lot of options, but tonight we're gonna go to Freedom, which is right behind me. Freedom usually has a good vibe, an interesting mix of people, and there's a bar on the ground floor, and the proper club with all the dancing is on the lower ground floor, so. Let's go have another drink. I don't need another one. Great. Okay. 
Thanks for joining me on my night out. And if you want more things to do around this area of central London during the day, I have a video guide that will tell you lots of great options. Just click the box popping up right next to me. Thank you.